Hi friend. Today we're going to work on the enclosure for the tube screamer build. I have one 1590B left and we're going to use it to make it. Unfortunately, I already have a tube screamer and I don't really use it that much. So I think we're going to give this one away. We'll decide later how. All right. That sounds good. Join me. Okay, let's get this printed out. Let's see what we have here for print. We already set that so it only prints everything we need. All right, so let's print. I have my printer, scale factor one, perfect. And okay, all right, I'm gonna go get that and I'll be right back, but let's show you how that worked out. When we, ha we have that four print layer without the top bottom pads vias, and uh, it just shows the places and origins and the names. We don't even actually need the names, just as long as we know where everything's going to be. There's going to be a mark here for the potentiometers, here, here, and here. We're gonna have the switch here and the LED here. All right, I'm gonna go get that and I'll be right back. Here's what we got. And we're going to cut that out right at the dimension line, which is very light. I don't know if you can see it. See that dimension line? It's kind of yellowish. I guess I should have put it in black and white, huh? But here we are. There we have it. Okay. I have this 1590B marked with a center line and we're going to match our printout so that the center of the potentiometer, the switch and the LED all follow that line. And then we're gonna tape this down. There, now we have enough room for the knobs and make sure you get it down low enough so that it fits between here. If it goes, if, if you go all the way to the top with it, you're gonna run into these, where the screws go in to the enclosure. We're gonna use our center punch and we're gonna get right on those marks where we're gonna make the holes. And we're gonna give it a couple good hits. There we go. Good. Excellent. Get the other two potentiometers. We're going to make a mark for the foot switch here. And to show you, if you make a mistake and it's off by a little bit, you could do an angled like this and it will move it in that direction just a little bit okay we're going to place these so that they're out of the way of this circuit board here so we're going to go right below it and we're going to try to get it closer to the top like that okay let's measure it so we don't mess it up Okay, we're gonna go from the bottom, right there, to there. A little mark there. And now we're gonna measure it from the top, from there, right around the edge, like that. And we're gonna make a little mark like this. I don't know if you can see that. Right there. It should be approximately in the same place. Okay. I always like to put the input and output jacks higher on the enclosure, and I always like to put the power jack lower on the enclosure. It's just personal preference, but it seems to work out very well. This is gonna go right, right about there. Oop. Okay, everything's marked, we're ready to drill. 
Remember to take an example of all your parts with you so that you could put them in and make sure you have the holes drilled to the right uh, diameter. Okay, let's take our stuff and head to the garage. Okay, we're gonna put our 1 16th inch bit in first. This is going to be our guide holes. Let's see if we got that in. Yeah. And we're gonna draw out all the guide holes first. Let's put this up closer if we can. All right. Now we're gonna let the drill bit use those holes that we punched to move the enclosure into the right position. see that now I'm going to switch over to the step bit and we're going to drill the holes that match the components that we're placing in the enclosure good that's good that's good Good. Oh, one more. That's good. I forgot to bring a switch. I forgot to bring a switch out to test this one, so I'm gonna leave that at the smallest hole, and we're gonna come right back. Okay, I just opened that one up a little bit more so it fits a toggle switch right there. Was this size sizes of the LED, but it fits better there. So we're done drilling the enclosure. Um, maybe we'll paint this one or decorate it in some way if we're going to give it away, or we will let maybe we'll let the recipient paint it. What do you think? Vote down below in the comments. Let me know what you think. But I think that's it for today. So uh, thanks for stopping by. I really appreciate it. Hope you have a great day.